1978, Dr. Kenneth Jernigan, the dynamic leader of the National Federation of the Blind, found and purchased an entire city square block here in South Baltimore. Formerly the site of a fishnet factory, furniture manufacturer, and other light industry, he began immediately to turn this complex of buildings into a center of innovation, the headquarters of the National Federation of the Blind. We completed moving the headquarters of the National Office of the Federation from Des Moines to Baltimore. We now have 40,000 square feet of floor space. It's part of the newly established National Center for the Blind. At the 1979 convention of the Federation, Dr. Jernigan stated that he hoped our new building would improve the services offered by the Federation, that we would host five to six seminars per year. Over the past 30 years, we have dramatically expanded that vision, improving programs for the blind in Baltimore and beyond. The National Center is a statement of who we are in the National Federation of the Blind. We will do what we have to do to run our own programs, to live our own lives, and to uh, make decisions about our own lives. In 1990, the NFB opened the International Braille and Technology Center for the Blind. This one-of-a-kind demonstration and evaluation center comprises $2.5 million of access technology for the blind, the only consumer reports for blindness technology, and a leader all across the world. In the early 1990s, Dr. Jernigan began dreaming of a broader vision, a vision of a research and training institute developed and directed by the blind. In 1999, NFB President Mark Maurer took the Blind of America on a bold new initiative, a capital campaign to build the first research and training institute developed and directed by blind people. In late 2001, the NFB began construction on the new facility, and under the leadership of Mark Maurer, the Blind of America began to imagine new possibilities. On January 30, 2004, the NFB had a grand opening celebration, a celebration of a dream turned into reality, a new facility appropriately named the National Federation of the Blind Jernigan Institute. The blind are leading the way in expanding the horizons of new possibilities through innovative technologies, empowering programs for youth, mentoring, new possibilities for seniors losing vision, and innovative partnerships. All of these elements and more change lives because of the investment the National Federation of the Blind has made in building a brighter future. The National Federation of the Blind has had no less an impact than completely changing the course of my son's life. This building, this operation, run by blind people, for blind people, was I think one of the most powerful impacts on both of us. The NFB has continued to build its programs for the blind. Since 1978, we've been building a center of innovation for the blind of America, taking an abandoned warehouse complex and turning it into a major economic force and also creating a significant vehicle for social change in all corners of this country. In recognition of this, the NFB received the 2007 Mayor's Business Recognition Award for Civic Leadership and Outstanding Community Service for our partnership with Johns Hopkins University in the largest gathering of blind youth ever, the NFB Youth Slam. On January 17, 2008, the NFB was presented with a resolution from the Maryland State Senate commending the organization on its 30-year commitment to promoting equality for the blind, specifically in Baltimore and Maryland. When Dr. Jernigan first established the National Center for the Blind, he had a vision of improving services offered by the Federation and hosting five to six seminars for blind people from across the country each year. Over the past 30 years, we've dramatically expanded Dr. Jernigan's vision. In just the first quarter of 2008, 
we've hosted 13 events catering to over 1,700 individuals from across the country. In 1979, we had 40,000 square feet of floor space. Today, we have 330,000 square feet available. But most importantly, the impact of the Federation stretches far beyond where any of us imagined in 1978. With this 30-year history of building a center of innovation in Baltimore, we can be certain that the future is full of possibilities. Many more lives remain to be changed and empowered through the work of the National Federation of the Blind and our Jernigan Institute. Imagine, as together, we change lives in Baltimore and beyond.